All right, hey everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. So I'm going to take a little bit of a step back here and take a look at the monthly charts and the weekly charts and of the markets. Because, of course, right now on the daily charts and the 30-minute charts, I mean, all the markets look horrible, right? Well, we've seen this movie before where there's like, oh my gosh, the world's coming to an end, and then the market goes and makes new highs. And so the question is, is this what we're going to is this what's going to play out again or this is this truly a top and we're going to implode from here well first of all keep in mind we do have a squeeze and the momentum's above zero when the squeeze fires on the monthly chart that typically starts a new two-year run okay now we don't know yet if it's going to fire off long or short but again the momentum's above zero the moving averages are stacked positive prices above the 21 that typically resolves itself to the long side all the internals right now are bullish because it shows the market that's very short now you might think like well if they're short don't they think it's going to go down but the point is is that when people get too short that's when we get a short covering rally and we have officially crossed that threshold where a short covering rally becomes very very likely now does that mean that we go up up and away from here um, it's a little too early to tell, honestly. I mean, I think at this point, and I've talked about this, is that when you're in a squeeze, you're basically in chop hell for quite a bit until it resolves itself. And that's kind of what we're in right now. But if this does fire along, we'd be looking for this to resolve itself to the upside. Now, as I've talked about in the premium video for the last six months, my two favorite trades right now are long the U.S. dollar. And again, if you look at the monthly chart here, although there's not a monthly squeeze, we do have a, day, a weekly squeeze here. And I am looking for the dollar to potentially get to new highs. And of course, you can play that by buying puts on FXE, uh, which is the euro. And then also TLT. I'm going to talk about TLT here in a minute. This thing, though, is rocking and rolling. We've got a monthly squeeze that's fired off to the long side. This is going to continue to drive mortgage rates lower. It's not only a flight to quality, but it's a sign of a potential global recession in the next, next six to eight months. This is my favorite no-brainer long. All right. All right. Let's look at a couple of other things here. I've had some questions um, about my class coming up on Saturday. So I wanted to show you a couple of really quick, cool things. Uh, the main gist of it is some updated settings for the squeeze. You'll see here on TLT, uh, this new setting for the Squeeze Pro completely nailed this move in TLT, whereas our regular squeeze was nowhere to be found, right? And a couple of people asked about intraday. Well, here's the S&Ps on a 30-minute chart, right? And if we're looking at this, it's like, okay, so not only is it just an updated squeeze, but you get buy and sell arrows and you get signals when the squeeze is about to fire. So it's like, here's a normal squeeze buy signal. And then you got the, the really tight squeeze buy signal. And then boom, we get a little bit of a pop. We get another buy signal and it, you know, and it's not a great move, but you know, we go up about 15 points and then we get boom, boom, two sell signals back to back. And it just utterly crashes so on this 30 minute chart on the s and p's it works it works solid as well in addition to this we've built out scanners so that you can actually now scan so this is a scanner like squeeze pro within 10 percent of new highs and then we got the code for the squeeze pro so that'll be something that we'll put in there and so you can see like disney is one that's come up there um, if we take a look here, oh, that's TLT. If we take a look at Disney, you can see not only do we have, uh, so here's the old squeeze. We got the new squeeze pro, and then we got the turbo kind of squeeze pro. Whenever that one shows up, it usually means something's about to go down pretty big. And then last but not least, we do have some pretty uh, solid metrics for this stuff as well. So for Amazon, and this is the, is, this is the part that I'm excited about, but is also a little sickened by. So we can look at this and say, okay, with the squeeze, with these new squeeze settings, we can see the three different ones that come up. Okay, and the mid one is kind of the normal squeeze. So the mid squeeze had, you know, 42 long signals over the last 10 years, 24 short signals with an average move of 75 bucks, right? And then this updated sensitive setting had uh, or the low updated setting had 69 longs, 39 shorts with an average move of slightly higher. So what does that come out to? So with my normal squeeze settings, I had 66 opportunities over 10 years with an average move of 75 bucks. If I was trading 10 Delta 70 option contracts, that would be about, eh, call it $52,000 
per trade. Okay, here with the new settings, I get more at bats, and that's a huge part of this. You get way more at bats. So I got 108 squeezes over 10 years, with the same average move, slightly better. So that's 42 additional squeezes. If I'm trading 10 Delta 70 contracts, that is basically lost profits of 2.2 million dollars over the last. 10 years because I just didn't have those signals. All right, so these new settings give you more at bats uh, and they capture those moves that the, the old setting, frankly, which is still good when it shows up, but it just missed a lot of moves. So one really important thing with this, because in talking to people, we put together a package where you get four different tools, you know, and then there's scans and, you know, a radar screen and all that kind of stuff. Um, and some folks were asking, it's like, hey, you know what? I, I got a small account. I don't necessarily want to pay all this up front. So we have actually established PayPal credit this time around. So if you go use the PayPal function, you can choose PayPal credit, and you basically get six months, no interest. All right, and you can pay whatever amount you want. I mean, in a perfect world, what happens is then you know you're able to pay for it out of your trading account over six months. But it's no interest for six months, so it gives you time to like start off, no money out of pocket, get the tools, and start working with them. All right, so how does this work? If you are seeing this, you can still take advantage of the early bird discount, which is $200 off, and that's listed here up to $200 off. So this Elite package is going to go to $16.97. Right now you can get it at $14.97. The Elite package includes this strategy class of this upcoming Saturday where I'm going to talk about this. You get the Squeeze Pro indicator. You get the arrows, the buy and sell signal. If you're newer to options, there's a, an options course there. Um, early in and out, updated for the Pro. You get uh, two live trading days, an additional three live trading days, plus the stats tool. So all that's fourteen ninety seven. And again, if you choose the PayPal option, no interest for six months, whatever minimum payment you want to make. The pro version includes all of that except the uh, bonus three days of live trading and the and the stats tool. And then the basic version um, is the strategy class where we're going to talk about the entire system around this squeeze and exactly how to do it and your checklist and everything there. The squeeze pro indicator, the buy sell signal, the arrows that automatically tell you when to get in and, and then uh, an options 101. So um, simplertrading.com forward slash system. This is going to be a great class. I have not updated this tool for 15 years because the squeeze has worked for me very, very well. But like I said, I was sick when I saw this and realized how many missed opportunities uh, that, that were out there just simply because I did not go through and completely backtest all these other different settings. So I'm pretty excited about this. All right, you guys have a fantastic evening. I'm looking forward to the class on Saturday, and we'll see you there.